Good afternoon, everyone. Unprecedented drought in South Africa, not enough drinking water coming forward. The Black Death returns to our planet in Madagascar. Massive hail coming down in Argentina. Incredible wind speeds seen again, this time Czech Republic, Germany. Arctic vortex going to rip down over Europe this week. Butter shortages, the worst since World War II. Arctic cold through the United States. And witch killings due to crop damage and low yield in India. And while you're watching the video, please remember to subscribe to Adapt 2030 and click the bell so you can get the latest updates. Let's start down in South Africa. They literally only have 25% of the usable water that they're going to need for the entire year. It's been such a mega drought, unprecedented in South Africa. Well, not really so unprecedented if we go back 400 years and look in the modern minimum. Same exact conditions pervaded that time as well. We're starting to put in place rationing that was carried over from last year. But they're going to have to reduce this even further. They're going to start cutting off water in the city for three days a week, especially around Cape Town. Incredible in this day and age where we're getting in water shortages now where they cut off parts of cities or country because there's not enough water. Over to Madagascar. Repeating cycle again. The Black Death is back on our planet. They're worried about the Black Death spreading on airplanes coming out of Madagascar. We need to go back to the 1340s. Bubonic plague. Unbelievable. I'm still shocked to even see something like this. But what shocks me even more is witch killings in India. Now, I know this article is from 2015. But it specifically is with crop damage and low yield. They're blaming on witches and killing them in India. 2015-16. To the point that the Indian government needs to pass bills so you don't kill witches in India today. That's unacceptable. And this whole finger pointing that's going to occur when we get into exceptionally large crop losses. What do you think the witches were all about back in the 1600s? Scapegoating. It's modern times. It's going to occur again and not just be limited to India this time. It's going to be a global phenomenon. Down to Argentina, unthinkable the size of the hail that came down during these last storms. This is the type of hail that destroys greenhouses. This is the type of hail that wipes out your agriculture. And if it wasn't the large sized hail, the extreme hail accumulation itself would be enough to damage crops in the local areas. And these storms are becoming more and more frequent. And as we go through 2018, they are going to ramp up in intensity and frequency even further. Jumping over to Europe, everybody's talking about the heat wave in California. Arctic plunge coming down this week. It's going to freeze the UK and Europe early. And just a couple of days ago, the massive winds were back. Czech Republic, Germany, Denmark, 130 kilometer per hour winds. You're looking for that white, almost light, light purple further to the south there. 100 plus kilometer per hour winds. Storm front here in Croatia. Let's jump over to France. Butter shortages, worst since World War II. And that's also their wine production this year. So what are the chances of the worst butter shortages and the worst wine output since World War II, both focused in France? And France was the epicenter of the grand solar minimum changes, revolution, crop losses, modern minimum. Read a history book. France is repeating the cycle and it's giving us an advanced warning. We better be making plans for how to mitigate what's coming. Store shelves are empty and I like the rundown on SOT. They say <laughs> socialism caused the shortages with the defunct EU policies dairy producers and how profits are split they pegged it down welcome back to the soviet era well that would be more of a global thing the way we're moving into socialism and communism again with these mind frames of suppressed thought and silence those with alternative opinions to what the narrative is being pushed out by the global media speaking of that 
We were told it's hot, hot, hot in America, and whoa, it's just global warming everywhere because California had an unusual pressure system over it. Well, now it's the inverse. That cold air is being driven down from Canada due to storms going up the East Coast. Arctic blast going to reach all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. What is this? Halloween? We're not even in November yet. We're getting Arctic blasts all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico? Impossible. But somehow they'll have you believe it's all hot in the United States. Global warming is rearing its head again. Well, grand solar minimum is. And how quickly everybody forgot the cold wave that came down October 1st through Central Asia. That just skipped right off the news feed. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. And the grand solar minimum just tapped us on the shoulder and said, Hey, human race, you better get ready for what's coming.